Hi everyone, I'm Liz and this is Vera's My Bag. I'm back. Uh, I know it's been quite a while. I feel like maybe the last video I did was before I left to go to my son's for his birthday in late August. Um, so here we are <clears throat> a little over a month later, I believe. Um, I thought I would do a couple videos today. I had the chance to <laughs> get my hair washed on the same day as I can get my makeup done and I'm not being interrupted by um, a lot of household things or family things and also the sun is out today so for the last I think probably week we've had very cloudy dark skies with rain and it was cold enough it got down low enough that there was actually snow up on the mountains so I know the rest of the country is kind of in a heat wave right now, but we've had really cool weather. So I'm in today. I think it's, it's going to hit the high is going to be 70, but um, overnight it's down to 40. So that's cold enough for it to actually freeze up on the top of the mountains and get snow up there. So um, I thought I would just give you uh, a couple of videos today. So this one is um, going to be uh, a pile, kind of a pile of possible bags that um, I'm going to carry uh, during the month of October. So I thought this might be a new series that I could kind of do um, each month um, besides doing any kind of hauls, which I've kind of gotten to a place where I've bought uh, a little too much um, during September for the Peanuts uh, release. And also I found, I just keep going back to a certain bag, which I think you probably all know, but I won't spoil this the uh, surprise for when I do do a, the, the haul video but I thought I would um so I've been picking up a few bags of my favorite style I'm sure you all know who that know what that is so anyway um I'm gonna do this sort of uh a, I pulled out a bunch of bags that um are possibilities for me to carry in October um things that are uh sort of um uh, autumnal you know fall you think of in it fall and then also Halloween. Um, so I thought I would just pick out bags and a couple accessories that I might be using this month and just, we'll just look at some Vera. Um, so anyway, if you, I do have the window open cause I, it, it does get kind of warm in this back room. Um, so I do have the window open a little bit. So hopefully we won't have any noises. Uh, the garbage trucks already came today and the kids are still in school, so there's not a lot of like that activity, but we might hear some things in the background if the cars, cars go by, but uh, hopefully there won't be anything that's too distracting. Of course, the dog could always bark because Amazon's constantly coming to my house for my husband. Um, but I was, I was just saying, I've really slowed down. I'm not, I've, to, I've kind of like on a freeze now, so I'm trying to think of some other kind of creative videos to do. Um, for you uh, and just to get some things up on my channel and just because there's so many bags in this house that you know we need an excuse to look at some of them so um, you can see I have my uh, peanuts uh, blanket um, that I did get during like I said I spent too much during that I ended up I had sent back a lot of that um, Disney 100 release um, and so um, the peanuts was just more me so I think I did uh, do that one, I think maybe the last video I might've done was the, um, the, uh, mini tote purse or whatever it's called in that, in that, uh, peanuts, uh, pattern. And I'm not gonna, probably not gonna remember all of the pattern names as I'm going through this. We'll try. Um, but I didn't make myself go refresh or anything. These are just things that were easy to get to, um, a pile of things in the closet and behind me that I could pick from. And those are probably going to be uh, kind of the bags that I choose from for October. So um, I'm not going to do like what's been going on with me in this uh, video. I'll do a what's in my bag at some point in the next couple of days and catch you up on a little bit of my own personal uh, news from visiting my mother um, or not news about my mother and what Kind of what's going on with me and my health and my son because those are always like the top topics that i talk about i will say the only thing i will say in this video is that um, i don't normally do a lot of videos in the fall because i it is a high stress time for me it seems to be a high stress time um 
getting ready for my son's birthday in Octo in September and my daughter has a birthday in October and then just the change of light and temperature and you know I just I get a little bit more sad at this time of year but um this year has been better and I think that's because I did my shopping early for my daughter so it was not like this thing hanging over me in October trying to you know I, I'm just a terrible shopper so it's always like I just spend too much time worrying about not getting the perfect thing but even any ideas whatsoever because I just don't I mean I'm just not a shopper so I'm not out in the store so it's like I just it, it's always hanging over my head I got to figure out something for my daughter and I don't want to just send some you know it, I just want it to be like three or four things that are like things that she would like so it requires me having to do a little thing <laughs> anyway same for my son so anyway uh so we're just going to look at some bags that um, I will be carrying or uh, for this month or possibilities of carrying. Um, the first bag, obviously, right now, I moved from, I was in um, a bucket, not a bucket tote, a Carson Hobo in um, Fox, Fox Forest. And I moved out of that um, a few days ago, when, when, actually when I hit the first, and I moved into the um, Peanuts um, mini tote pack. So these are my errands that I need to run if I get can get to them today. Um, and this is that um, greenish teal color um, and has all the lovely Peanuts characters. Um, so this is, this is a bag that um, I'm going to be using I might go in and out of it a little bit this month just so I get more use out of it because it's really cute. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm in this one right now. So I'm not going to do a what's in bag for this because I already did that uh, when I got it. Um, but this is what I'm currently carrying um, just so you can get a little look at this pattern. Um, I'm not, I don't remember the pattern name. I think, I think I'll put it across the screen. I think it was Peanuts Autumn... autumn leaves something like that um but anyway that's what i'm in currently and you've already seen that a lot so i'm not going to go into details on that um so the other bag that is the peanuts um bag that i got in that haul is the um this bag which is um the peanuts halloween bag and let me just make sure because i don't have the name of it on the top of my head um i'm just going to open this up it's a small vera tote in Yeah, it's called Peanuts Halloween. I keep it, the the first the first name on here they have is in French instead of the English first, so my eyes want to go to that first uh, name on here. But it's Peanuts Halloween. Okay, so I did have that right. <laughs> anyway, let me take these back off again. Um, this bag I've got stuffed with some tissue paper, um, but this I will be moving into, and this is the really cute Halloween pattern. I'm gonna wait and save this one for. A couple of days before Halloween, um, but this is a small Vera toad in that really cute pattern, um, and you can't you can't get this anymore. Um, I uh, will say that um, it was um, when I think we all kind of figured it would sell out really quickly. It was available only online, and. Um, Maybe I did show this already. I feel like I talked about it already. But anyway, it was available only online. And I, uh, you have to, you basically, whatever you got is what you got. And so I was hoping for this big pumpkin here to be on the front pocket or somewhere on the front. There is one right here on the side. So that's, uh, that's great. And like I said, you just kind of get what you get when you're ordering something that's going to sell out really fast. I wasn't going to mess around with trying to return it and risk. Um, and I didn't feel like doing the whole order two or three and then send them back things. So I just decided the pattern is really cute and it's pretty jam packed and pretty busy. So I wasn't too worried about um, getting any kind of bad placement, what I would call bad placement. I don't think there's bad placement on here. Um, so as you can see, there's the really cute big pumpkin with Snoopy on top. Um, so this is the back. This is the placement I got on the back. Um, I might throw this in when I do the haul so we can look at it more closely. 
but anyway, so this is this is one of the um, bags that, and like I said, I'm going to hold off on this one until a couple days before Halloween. Um, so that will definitely be a fun bag to go into. Um, and yeah, I, okay, so we'll do the large beer totes or the larger bags that I have. Uh, we'll go kind of large to small. Um, so this is a uh, another um, Halloween themed um, bag that I'll be using you know, closer to Halloween probably. And this is the custom Vera tote that I got. Um, I think it was two summers ago they were offering this. And um, it's, the pattern is Spooky Cats. Um, and the trim is called Halloween Squirrels. Um, so this actually is the um, contrasting pattern that goes with the interior um, which is um, Halloween, 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 H O W L uh, dash O dash Ween, Halloween. Anyway, so this is a really cute pattern. It's got a lot, it's got, it's a Halloween version of Best in Show, and um, the, all the warm colors and all the cute costumes um, has that black and white and orange kind of look to it. Um, these are the white uh, white kitties, which kind of look like ghosts, which is kind of um, cute. Kind of reminds me of the ghosts that are in the peanuts um, bag. Anyway, so this is um, the cats, uh, not cats meow, spooky cats. That's what it is, spooky cats. And so you get a look at all the different um, cats. And like I said, I'll link a video that you can look at if you want to see the bag in more detail and see um, the interior pattern with all the cute anim the cute dogs. Um, so yeah, this so this is a takeoff on Cats Meow and this is a takeoff on Best in Show with Halloween costumes. So that's a Vera tote that I is a possibility. Okay, there might be a little noise outside and neighbors arrived. Um, anyway, so the uh, the next bag that is a possibility, the next Vera tote is um, a bag that I got in an online outlet sale that was a couple summers ago, maybe even three summers ago, and there was a huge online outlet sale that all the prices were reduced really, really good. And I um, got this uh, in that. This is a performance twill in um, straw flowers. And so it's in very nice sort of, uh, it's a very light tan with pink, sort of these pink straw flowers on here. And of course, it's performance twill, so it's really good for the um, rainy weather of fall. And this is a really pretty interior. It's a lot of beautiful pink flowers. It's a really pretty pattern. So this is the back of it. It's been folded up for quite a while in my closet. But yeah, I thought it's a really pretty pattern, and um, I think I have like three uh, Vera totes in Performance Twill, um, and so I pull those out in the in the rainy months, um, as because they're more waterproof. Water just beads up, kind of. Anyway, so that is another Vera tote that I'll be able to um, make use of in October. Um, and here's another possibility, and these are, of course, kind of all, all along the warmer lines um, for October because, you know, you think of fall leaves and pumpkins and all that. So a lot of these are very warm tones. So this is another Vera tote. This is actually, I think, the last one. This possibility for um, October. And this is the um, Vera tote in Vines Floral Neutral. So this is a very rare bag. It's hard to find. Um, I uh, actually purchased this from Kelly from Potato Peach. Um, she was downsizing her closet, and so I purchased this from her. And it has these really sort of burnt orange colors. You got tans. It's just a really uh, a neutral version of the vines floral which is more of the which is the greens and oranges and this is the browns blacks and oranges so i really like this and the interior has this sort of grid uh, pattern in here which is kind of also a kind of a wine color 
on the interior. So this is really pretty and is another uh, good possibility that I'll be using this in the fall or in October. Um, okay, so let's move on to some smaller, uh, these are small Vera totes. Let me just pull these all out. Of course, I showed you the peanuts one already. Um, okay, so the first one is, um, see, I'm going to have to like pull it from the recesses of my, my Indiana blossoms, Indiana blossoms. Um, and this is a, definitely like an eggplant purple wine color. Um, it has a little bits of oranges, some pinks and reds, uh, but it is definitely a really pretty, um, warmer, uh, kind of gives you the fall vibes. Um, some really pretty sort of, um, tooth edge sort of, um, colorations of these flowers here. And this is of course the, um, the... 100% the signature cotton so it is not the recycled this is signature so it's very plush and there's also these um the piping that's on the straps in this in the uh, signature so a lot of these are the signature um cotton with the piping on the straps which makes especially on the small vera totes it's important it's like if it actually makes the strap sturdier for me and I really uh, appreciate that I don't I'm not really a big fan of the new straps. Um, so this is the one that's in the uh, recycled cotton and they're thinner. They don't have quite as much cushion. Then you don't have that piping to sort of help them keep their structure. So I'm, I'm just a little bit more concerned that those are going to wear out faster than the ones that are from the signature cotton version. But yeah, so this is Indiana Blossoms. The interior of this is just kind of a I think this might be a black background, these kind of small flowers. I'm not a big fan of this interior um, just because it doesn't have that much color to it. And it, to me, it's not a really good match for this um, out exterior pattern, but we've seen Vera move more and more towards kind of um, less color for the interiors. Um, than what I would prefer. So that's Indiana Blossoms in a small beer tote. Uh, okay, another great pattern for fall is, um, and this is another small beer tote, is a pattern called Autumn Leaves. And uh, yeah, this will be a definite, um, maybe even this week, uh, possibility for a bag. Um, this is really pretty. It's got sort of this warm, uh, I think it's a, like a whiny brown color. You've got that sort of olive green and then sort of a, some brighter yellows, orange, purple. So the whole thing is very kind of autumn looking. There's some pinks in here. Got these like dark, darker, um, sort of almost a fuchsia, but darker. Got this really beautiful color here, this sort of a teal. So yeah, it's a really good pattern for fall. And so this will definitely be um, something that I will consider using. And the, here's the interior of it. I forgot what this um, pattern is called, but this is all this also an interior in another bag that I'm gonna show in a minute. It's kind of a uh, houndstooth sort of looking pattern almost with browns, sort of a spicy brown and some I think there's black in there. Yeah, again, got these this really great piping on here. This is the 100% um, cotton, the signature cotton. Um, so this is from, I believe this pattern might be from 2019, I think. It might be from that year. Again, I'll leave all the patterns down below so you can see, so you've got a list of them. I'll try to add the years. But yeah, you can still find these on, um, and even they might even be uh, good prices right now because I don't know that these patterns are actually as popular as they used to be. Um, so you can find these third party. So that is um, the other of your totes. So we're gonna do one more um, sort of tote style bag until we get into um, my other favorite um, 
my very favorite uh, style. And this is a um, bag that I got from the factory outlet. And this is called, this pattern is Pressed Flowers. Um, it's one of the only factory ones I have, I think, in this grouping. Um, I might have to go pull out some more bags because I think I do have some autumn colored bags that are factory, but this is the only factory one that I've used in um, the past couple of years that was up here um, in sort of the fall. So this is again a wine. This has more of the light blues and it's kind of slate blues in it. Um, really cute pattern. And this is in the ultralight um, material. So very um, weatherproof um, and wipeable for rain. Um, the interior is just the plain sort of eggplant color that's in there. This this bag is, um, I forgot what this is called. Um, yeah, I'll have to list it below. I'll list the styles below, but I believe this is um, a, uh, it's got a crossbody strap on it as well as these two short handles. And I always forget the name of this style. Um, it's got this sort of pleather looking label on here. This is Vera Bradley. It's kind of a salmon-y orange in here. So this is a really great um, pattern. And this is the only thing I have in this pattern, but I really like it. So this will, will be a possibility to be in the rotation uh, for October. So that's pressed flowers. Um, hang on a second. Okay, so um, this is, other than that mini tote pack that is in the peanuts pattern, the teal one, this is the only backpack that I've got um, for this month. Um, it's like a purse backpack. I didn't I actually didn't pull out any backpacks either because I'm not traveling or anything. So I don't think I'll be using many backpacks this month. Um, but I did pull this one out and this is a small backpack. Um, I don't have anything to kind of stuff it with, but this is a small backpack. Um, and this is a bag that I found online. Um, it was, I believe, last spring during a time where Vera was sending a bunch of one-offs, kind of, and some of their just strange patterns, strange one-off kind of, maybe samples, maybe um, runs that they were not selling anywhere else. And this was on a third party and I saw it. Um, I was scrolling through one day and this is a um, a small backpack and it's a one-off as far as I uh, know. I don't know. I don't know of anybody else that has one um, that I've seen. Um, but like I said, they were sending stuff out to and they were going to send it to the outlet stores. And so if you were in an outlet store, you maybe could find one. But I think somebody must have picked this up at the outlet and then they put it online to sell. Um, so this is, the only way they've got these marked is basically second. They are marked as seconds. So there's no pattern listed for this, but this is obviously a brown version of, um, a brown version of Bon Bon Medallion. <laughs> so, so this is like a brown and sort of a, a, a a brownish pink it's I don't know what I would call this color it's not like Pepto-Bismol it's it's darker than that so it's kind of a brown a brownish pink um, and you can see that this has a black background and I think um, Bon Bon Medallion um, is a gray uh, background um, but this is really pretty and has the icy blues and you know, here's the, here's the like lighter pinks, I think that were in my Bon Bon Medallion. Um, but yeah, sort of a brownish version of it. So yeah, I found this as a second. It was on, I paid, I paid close to probably what was retail for this. Um, I don't remember, but I know that I paid quite a bit. Somebody probably picked it up because I think they, all those seconds were like 75% off, um, at the outlet. So Probably whoever picked it up, picked it up for like $25, but I ended up paying close probably to retail for it. But because it was a, a um, you know, one of a kind sort of bag, I decided to go ahead and um, pick that up um, and pay the extra. So the interior of it is that um, 
mid Bon Bon Ditsy, but this is the darker, it's a darker version of the Bon Bon Ditsy that's in the Bon Bon medallion bags. So I just thought it was really cute and there was no way it was passing up this like one of a kind bag. So that is a possibility to be in rotation for October. Okay, before we get to my favorite uh, bag style, <laughs> and the possibilities in that one, um, I'm going to show you this. Uh, this is a crossbody in, um, this is a on the go crossbody in performance twill. And this is in the color, let's see, I think I still have the tag in here. Khaki, oh, why didn't that come to my brain? I don't know. Um, so this is in the color khaki and uh, is a a little bit, I think it's close to the, it's close to the background color of the straw flowers. Kind of a sandy brown. Um, it's got that great performance twill zipper that they use, those silver zippers. And then the interior is the, is the um, garden dream ditzy is what I call it. I don't remember if that's okay. But anyway, so that's got like purples and blacks. It's just like a nice neutral solid for fall that I can use for October. So this is another um, option uh, in and on the go. It's got those side pockets and then the good crossbody strap on it. I love the performance tool on the go. It's one of my favorites. So that is another possibility in bags for October. All right, now we're gonna get to kind of one of my, my sort of more favorite. Um, we're gonna go with the larger ones first. So my favorite style is the Glenna. Probably second to that is the Vera Tote, even though I don't use the Vera Tote as much as I should. But anyway, so my favorite style is the Glenna. Um, this is the pattern um, Kingston Garden. And this was a Dillard's exclusive pattern. And I really like this for fall. It's a navy background and it's got the, um, you know, these wine colored leaves, the brown stems. I just think it's a really great pattern for in October. So this is definitely going to be a possibility in rotation. Probably could have used this one in September too. Um, and this could get pushed in November. We don't know. Um, anyway, so there, that's uh, Kingston Garden. And I really like this. I have some accessories in this bag. Um, and this is a Glenna. If you haven't, if you're not familiar with a Glenna, it is a satchel bag. No, it's uh, got a two straps, two shoulder straps. Um, does not have piping, but it has these pleather um underneath the kind of under the handles to kind of give it structure and also help with wear on handles when you're carrying things by handles or on your shoulder. It's got the really great piping. This is one of the things I'm very attracted to on this version of the Glenna. This is the signature cotton, um, not recycled. And it has the uh, kind of this curve in the front with another curve right under it. Um, so it's considered a satchel style. It's got the pulls on the sides to um, blouse it if you want to blouse it, or you can pull it out. Um, and this is the iconic, it's called the iconic Glenna. Um, and so this is from the period of like 2019 through 2021, I believe we got the iconic Glenna, I think spring of 2021, but mostly just 2019 and 2020, I think. Um, my favorite version of the Glenna. That's the interior of Kingston Garden, those little sweet little flowers in there. So yes, this will definitely be a possibility <laughs> for October. All right, the next one is an older version of the Glenna. Um, and this is, I don't know what year this is. I'm going to guess it's more like 2017, um, maybe 2018. And this, um, pattern is called Falling Leaves. Um, so definitely makes you think of the falling leaves in the fall. Um, this has more of the uh, dome shape, shape uh, structure on this Glenna, which is also how the factory ones look. Um, 
It does not have anything uh, to pull on the sides to tuck this in. Um, it doesn't have the, there are some older Glennas that have like a ribbon trim right here. That's, this one does not have that. But you can tell it's a signature uh, Glenna because it's got the um, interior. Actually, this one has the silky interior, so it's probably, this feels like it might be even older than 2017. Um, because there was a period of time where Vera was using the silky interiors. Maybe it was 2018. Anyway, I'll list them all down below. But this is Falling Leaves, so definitely um, gives you that fall feel with all those wine colors and the green leaves. So this is a possibility for in October. Um, all right, then the next one is also a Glenna, but this is a mini Glenna. Um, and I have a couple of mini Glennas in different patterns, um, but this one is... Uh, Again, Indiana Blossoms, and this is a really cute. You can see, I'm gonna pull this other Glenna back up so you can see the, the size difference. So this is the regular size Vera, which is definitely, um, it's got like a six inch, sort of six inch wide bottom. And this is the small, the mini Glenna. So it's a really cute bag. The regular Glenna doesn't have a crossbody. It is a shoulder bag, and this is a crossbody. It has a crossbody strap that is with it little bit narrower um, than a lot of the other crossbody straps. Uh, this is the interior again, but this is the the mini Glenna and it is really cute if you just want to carry, you want something small, crossbody, doesn't, you can't, it's really hard to get this over your shoulder. They're, they're short, these, but they're more of a grab handle kind of um, for you. And then you've got the crossbody to use. And this has the, again, has the sort of dip in this um, this one got a little bent, I guess. Um, it's got the dip there, and it's a little bit narrower on the bottom than the other one. Really cute. Again, I look. This is like really pretty. I love that flower on Indiana blossoms. So just really, really great pattern. Again, got this nice big flower here. I love this cluster here of these flowers. This one's good too. And you've got this sort of tulip, tulip shaped one. So yeah, this is a, this is a mini Glenna and I really love these. These are really nice for just, if I'm gonna, especially like if I'm gonna walk the dog or go somewhere where I've just got like a zip ID and my sunglasses um, and not carrying a lot. It's a really cute bag, really, really cute. Um, okay, I have a couple other, I'm gonna go grab a couple more I just thought of that are downstairs in my um, storage area, and I'm gonna go grab those, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I'm starting to lose my ring light, but I think I have enough light still to be able to keep going, <laughs> so I think my ring light is, is fading. Um, all right, so um, three more bags, and then I've got some accessories, and then we're done. Um, so this is a another Performance Twill, which will be great for... Um, rainy weather, um, if we get any, which we usually do in October. Um, this is the uh, multi-strap shoulder bag. I only have a couple of these. And it's not one of my very favorite styles. And I, I know everybody else really loves it a lot, but for some reason it just doesn't work that well for me. And I think it has to do with uh, the crossbody strap. But um, I could just carry it as kind of a a shoulder bag, but just have sort of more, um, these are kind of grab handle, grab handle sort of, so not quite, not quite good as a shoulder bag, but I guess I could carry it as just kind of a, a tote and take the crossbody off of it. But anyway, um, this is toasted terracotta and this was a pattern I believe that was, um, I'm going to guess it was 2022. Um, so a year and a half ago or so I got this. Um, and it obviously, you can see the color, it's really good for <laughs> kind of the Halloween time frame with that really burnt, burnt orange color, uh, toasted terracotta. And so this is a multi-strap shoulder bag. It has a pocket in the back for your cell phone, a pocket in the front. I do believe I have a video. If I have any other videos that are, um, 
that feature any of these bags in detail. I'll link those below, but I feel like I did a what's in my bag with this once. Um, so yeah, so this is the bigger pocket in the front. Put more, you can put more things in there like a notebook or something. Um, and then you've got the interior with the two slip pockets and this is just a great interior. This is the pattern that I keep seeing come back in various ways um, and I believe, I can't think of it right now, but there's some pattern that was just released recently that I feel like has these same similar flowers, um, maybe in even in the exterior, if not the interior. I'll have to think about that. Um, maybe I'll maybe I'll put that across the screen if I think of it. But um, yeah, this pattern um, seems this this these sort of the berries, uh, the little sort of star shaped flowers that are right there. Um, and of course this type of flower, I feel like this gets repeated a lot in Vera's patterns. Um, and like I said, these little star shaped flowers are the ones that I keep seeing kind of pop up in various places. Um, I believe they were, yeah, I can't, I can't, I even think they might be in the, um, vines, kind of the vines floral, um, pattern in some way. Anyway, I just wanted to point that out because I do see those very often and I think of it and I usually try to comment if I do see it in a, you know, a picture online in our Facebook group or whatever. So that's, that is another possibility. Um, and then I have one of a style that, um, I really, really like, but I haven't been using it as much as I, um, uh, usually, or I used to, um, before I found my favorite, which is the Glenna. This was my favorite kind of before that. And this is the style Claire, um, which looks much better once it's stuffed um, than when it's empty. Um, but it is kind of, gives you that a little bit, it's a crossbody and it has a little bit of that um, bucket sort of shape to it. There's not a lot of um, organization inside is just kind of an empty uh, crossbody pouch. One, I think there's there's just one. Is there a zip in the back? No, there's just a couple of slip pockets in the back for you to slip things into. Um, but this is Canyon. I believe this is Canyon Road. This pattern, and of course you've got the browns and oranges, um, and this has a, uh, a quite a wide crossbody strap. Of so older pattern, that kind of it's the, gives you a look at the buckle. Older pattern, um, it's got that. I like brown and light blue together. It's always been a favorite of mine. Those two together gives me that western kind of south, southwest western, and this definitely has that look to it. And again, this is Canyon Road. So this is a Claire, and then the other Claire that I like to pull out in the fall um, that I really like is. A pattern called bittersweet um, and so this is the Claire and bittersweet again this is like a smaller bucket version um, type style bag um, once you fill it up it gets um, very rounded and so this one I really like this is bittersweet I like the um, the burnt oranges you know kind of the burnt red and then you've got the lighter oranges in here there's an olive green got the gold and then you've got the black and browns going on in here um, with this like hound's tooth sort of um, black uh, interior so yeah so that's bittersweet so that's the last of the small crossbodies that are a possibility all right quickly we'll do some accessories and then i'll get off of here um and get a get a either a what's in my bag or a, a haul um all right so i pulled out a couple of um i thought i had it i don't have any um eyeglass cases that was one thing i was kind of looking for is what am i going to switch into for my um glasses but these are wallets um so this is a uh, a possibility for um a larger wallet for me to use um 
with the bags. And this is Clementine. Um, and the reason I pulled it out is obviously because it's got the black and orange in it. Um, this is a factory pattern. And I picked up this turn lock uh, last fall or last summer, maybe. I can't remember. Yeah, I've been picking up turn locks um, at discounted prices. So you see the interior is an orange. So I thought that was really good for fall. Sorry, hopefully the garbage can noise <laughs> in the last portion. I also pulled out a Carson cell phone crossbody that I have in Cat's Meow. Um, Cat's Meow is a great pattern for fall. I believe this did come out fall of 2019, I feel like, 2018. Um, and yeah, so I was lucky to find um, a Carson cell phone crossbody, and I can use this again for if I'm doing, you know, a walk with the dog, carry my cell phone, or even protect my cell phone in any of these other totes that I'm carrying around. Um, so this is the Cat's Meow pattern, and I have a couple of things in Cat's Meow. I don't usually, I don't use them a lot. I don't know why I don't use my Cat's Meow more, but um, I do have a couple of things in it. So I thought that would be good as my, because I don't really have any other sort of uh, patterns for fall um, in my um, cell phone crossbody. So I may be using this for a couple of months. Okay, so the last items that I thought I would show you or possibilities um, are the smaller wallets I'll be using, which are zip IDs. Um, so for the smaller bags and just easy um, carrying around um, just a couple of cards. So I pulled out, this is Mahogany Medallion. Um, this came in a couple of different color versions, but this is the Mahogany Medallion. So I really like that. I got that in a online outlet sale a few years ago. Um, I also have um, a couple of Cat's Meow uh, zip IDs. This is the the Gen Zip ID, which is kind of a double Zip ID with a little snap pouch here. And then this is the normal Zip ID. So I have uh, in Cat's Meow. So both of those are possibilities. Um, one of these I haven't even used before. It's got a tag on it. So I found these um, at boutiques, actually, where they were not um, exorbitant prices. Um, so really cute cat's meow. See the little cat in the tote bag there. Obviously a smaller piece of material so you don't get a lot of the cats, but there's a couple of the other more gray and tan color cats. Got a calico right here. So those are possibilities and I've got a cat's meow uh, lanyard that I can use for any of my zip IDs that I'm using this month. All right, um, another one that's a possibility is my Itsy Ditsy, um, not Itsy Ditsy, Petite Garden. <laughs> this is Petite Garden, um, and this is got the nice silver zipper on it, um, and so that's another possibility for me to use that, and that kind of goes. I do like pulling out purple in October. Um, I do have a... Um, Harry Potter Forbidden Forest. I didn't pull this out, but I do have a, I think I have a, I don't remember if I got a small beer toad in this or if I got a multi-strap. I can't remember, but I should pull this out because it's nice to have the Harry Potter Forbidden Forest out in at, near Halloween. I like purple for Halloween. And then of course it's got the owls. So I think it's a perfect pattern for October actually. So this is a zip ID. Um, in the, I think this is the ditzy version of Forbidden Forest, and this would be the interior of the, of the tote bags. So I've got that. That's really cute. I also pulled out my Fox Forest zip ID. I don't have a lot of fall kind of looking zip IDs, but I pulled out Fox Forest, um, and there's a fox on there. Not Fox Forest. Foxwood. Sorry, this is Foxwood. <laughs> a pattern. I don't. I've. I don't know why pattern names have just been uh, going out of my brain lately. Um, anyway, so this is a great uh, sort of pattern. And I might might use this as one of my um, choices for a wallet. And then the last item. Uh, no, actually, I've got two more. 
Um, this is the Best in Show pattern. And I have a couple of smaller items in this that I can use. I don't know if I have a cosmetic in this, but I think I do have the Zip ID. Anyway, really cute with the dogs. There's a dog in the suitcase there. Got the little the dog on the yoga mat. Um, and I've also got my uh, Itsy Ditsy lanyard. This is a newer one. I must have bought a duplicate of this because this one still has a tag on, but I know I have one I've been using. So the Itsy Ditsy, and then I've got the Itsy Ditsy lanyard. So those are both possibilities for wallets um, this month. Okay, so this is the last item. I think my dog started barking, so I had to cut off and come back. So uh, this is the last item. I think we still got a bark or two coming out. <laughs> This is the eyeglass case that I'll be using probably all month. That is the only thing that I really think I have that's, I might have one at Holland Garden, which I didn't pull out Holland Garden for this. Figured I'd save that for November. Um, but anyway, so this is a eyeglass case that I can use um, with these bags um, that is Holland, uh, that is uh, Indiana Blossoms. So again, you've got that eggplant color and uh, more of the warm colors uh, some cool colors in there, but warm to go for October. So that's it. That is my, um, pile of possibilities for my bags for the month of October. And again, this will probably be a series that I try to do once a month. Um, so thanks for hanging out and I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye.